Is this thing on? Okay, it is. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> How are you guys doing? Um, I'm I'm kind of little little tired, a little sleepy. <laughs> Beat it. A salad. Don't bait me like this. <laughs> Hey guys, hey! Hello, hello! How are you guys doing? Um, I was working a bit earlier, but I'm working on this now. Wreck to Luna Rina's rig today. <laughs> I was like, don't, don't bait me like this, man! <laughs> yeah, hey! Hey, hey, hey! What's up? Um, I think today I'm going to be working on some body angle stuff and probably more hair. Um, I haven't done the separation for this yet, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I might honestly... I might just adjust it without separating it. I don't know. I'm still like trying to think about what I want to do. I think I could, it would, I could probably do it without separation because I'm not going to be doing it as much as these ribbons. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have some I have some gummy gummies to munch on today. Um the ones that Beefy got me the other day are already here. Um I have some wow. <laughs> I have some grape flavor ones. I have some uh muscat grape flavored ones, and I have some lemon flavored ones, and then there's some Ume flavored ones. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the Ume ones because I don't know. Sometimes I like Ume flavor and sometimes I'm not as into Ume. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I, I'm 100% sure I will like these grape ones. I've had I've had the grape ones before, but I've not tried the Ume ones before. <laughs> but I might be munching on these while I work today. Just on and off. My head was hurting a little bit earlier, so I took some aspirin. Um, but if it gets worse, I'll, I'll, I'll end stream or something, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, and the, uh, the bean bag is puffing up. Um... It's... I'm gonna be honest, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be, like, I... I don't know, when I read four feet, I was like, well, I don't know, it's not too big. It's, it's pretty, it's, <laughs> it's quite large. <laughs> um, I probably should have put a smaller size on there. I didn't think it was going to be this big. It's fine. But I'm like, I just, I'm like, oh my God. Okay. It's, it's certainly large. Um. <laughs> yeah, cotton. <laughs> but it has been puffing up and it's um I was laying on it a little bit last night just chilling and it was quite comfy um but I'm gonna have to figure out where exactly I'm gonna like I mean it's gonna have to be in this room I'm just trying to figure out like where I guess I'll have to put it like in the corner I, like it's it's it takes up a very big portion of the room, and I'm trying to be like, where should I put it? I didn't really think that far. Um, once I move Lobster's desk that's in the corner, his old desk that he needs to get rid of, um, once I move that, then I could put it kind of in that corner, though. But, yeah. I, I kind of have to, like... I still have, like, the plastic uh, wrap underneath it. Um, once I take that out, it'll be a little bit less crazy. Oh! Trav! You got me the- you got me the- the, the desk pad! Oh shit, thank you, thank you! <laughs> thank you! <laughs> and hey guys! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> and yeah, it, it does- it does smell a little bit, but I- like- but I can't tell if it's really the foam, because it has a cover. It, it, like, there's like- there's the co main, the first cover, and then there's the cover that you put- that you put it in the that second cover the first cover smells a little bit but not that bad but um but i 
like it doesn't smell really that bad i think now that it's like been left out to kind of like aerate a bit it's not like when i first took it out of the bag it was definitely a little bit like hmm there's a smell there um but it seems like it's kind of mostly dissipated and then once i put on the cover once it's fully puffed up then um i think it'll be i'll think it'll be all good but yeah i have it kind of like in the sun right now um but i like went in there last night and like really like went and separated all the little because it's like it's not like big pieces of memory foam it's like a bunch of really 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 tiny bits of memory foam but they're kind of like clumped together in shipping so you had to like kind of like knead it <laughs> it's like kneading kneading dough but like a bunch of foam <laughs> oh, but i did that for quite a while last night um but yeah it seems to be puffing up a good amount it's I'm trying to like figure out how I can like kind of roll it a bit to consolidate it cuz there there is a bit of extra like material but I can't tell if that's going to if it's going to puff up more and then there won't be really ec any extra material I'm not sure yet but um I'm trying to like roll it a little bit so it's not as like wide but I'm still remembering like it is a 4 feet <laughs> like a 4 foot beanbag so it's like going to be big but I'm just like how can I make it a little bit smaller <laughs> I, but yeah, once I move the desk, it'll be fine. It's just like, because the desk is kind of in the corner, lobster's desk, it kind of takes up a good amount of space in that corner, so I can't really push it into the corner. I guess I could push it underneath the desk for a bit, but then it's like, it'd be annoying to like have to like take it out from under the desk each time I wanted to lay on it. I don't know. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> figuring it out. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, thank you. I, I added a few more things to throw in because I was like, it's empty now. So I added a few more things. I, I realized I didn't, I I hadn't checked uh, Destiny Child, the mobile game I play that I, I like a lot. Um, I didn't realize that they had an online store. Or last time I saw the online store, it was Korea only. But they finally actually added like a global store. So I was like, oh shit, I can add things from the global store. But the shipping is still pretty high. Uh, Cause I was looking and there was like a really big boob booba mouse pad and I was like, oh shit. And it was like, it was like 10 bucks or something. And I was like, oh, that's not that bad. And then it was like shipping $37. And I was like, oh, uh, okay, okay. Maybe not that one. <laughs> maybe not that then. Uh, maybe I'll get, it, it. it's more worth it if I get something bigger. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not worth paying like $40 of shipping for like an eight dollar mouse pad it's just not it's just not it, it was shipping from korea it's a korean uh like the the developers are from korea and the game is made in korea so all the merch is made in korea so everything is being shipped from korea <laughs> so uh and I, I think shipping is just in general been more expensive yeah yeah but they had um, they had a bunch of stuff that I actually really wanted, but it was all out of stock. So I was like, well, I'm not going to put that on there because they, they don't even have it. But now I'm going to have to like, kind of keep tabs on it because I didn't realize they had a, a, a global store. So now I'm like, hmm, got to keep uh, keep an eye out because there is a there's a really nice tapestry I wanted for one of one of the other characters I really liked. But um, it was out of stock and I'm like, God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll get a- I have like a- I, I have a padded mouse pad that is like the same shape. Uh, oh! Hey Seika. <laughs> it's like the same shape as what a boob mouse pad would be, but I would like a- specifically, I would like a- a- a, um, a mouse pad with one of the, um, the Sin Chao characters on it. Uh, the- the character that I really liked a lot was Bari from the Sin Chao. The- there's a- a really nice tapestry. Um that I really liked but yeah it was sold it was like already sold out and I, they don't really restock that often because it's like a mobile game <laughs> thing <laughs> um so the stock tends to be somewhat like they don't really restock that much so like once I miss it it's kind of gone <laughs> occasionally they do like restock like the most popular things it seems but yeah it's a bit bit limited stock so I'm gonna have to keep keep looking Oh shit, a raid! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> Cozy cat raid, oh shit! Oh shit, that sounds right, just about right! <laughs> welcome, welcome, raiders! 
let me do oh god let me do soda boop, 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 boop. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay here. You're streaming art. What were you working on? Hope you had a good stream. <laughs> but today I'm going to be doing some... I think I'm going to start with the body angles. I think I'll come back to the... Because I, I, I did a lot of the... Whoa. The face angles yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's chaotic. <laughs> um, but so I'm thinking of doing the body angles today. Kind of mix it up a bit. And thank you, thank you for the gifts of us, Jim. Thank you for giving them a sub. <laughs> Hope the rigging has been going well. I was just making some more outfits for my own live 2D. Oh, nice, nice. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah, I, I kind of just started. I've just been kind of talking, chilling. I haven't gotten to work yet, but... <laughs> I'm trying to think what I want to do. What I want to start with, because I need to do a lot of the, what is it? The body angles still. Like, I'm, I just need to do the art meshes so I can then do the body angles, but I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Another gift. <Gipsa. laughs> Thanks, thank you. Thank you for gifting this up. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just trying to think how I want to do this. I already did like the arm raising for, wait, where is it? I did this arm raising, but I need to do it for the other arm as well. Here quietly as I'm studying. Oh yeah, yeah. Good luck on your study. Are you doing uh, live CD study? <laughs> and yeah, yeah. The uh, the item throwing thing is once again broken today, unfortunately. Oh hey Jimmy, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> Yeah, we've been making good progress. We got most of the face angles done, um, except for like the back hair. But, I'm trying to think for the for the body X, I might just move like the whole body over a bit. this I guess I'll just grab this and move this over because I'm not doing full body or anything so this looks kind of scuffed but that's okay that's how it goes I guess just to keep it consistent, I'll just move these though. Just a little bit. Oops. But I'm not I'm not doing really the leg rigging, so this is just to make it not look too awkward. Sixty-nine <laughs> percent train. Oh, 
Oh! That should get level <laughs> one done. Almost. <laughs> Almost. I guess actually instead of this, I should probably just do um, a rotation deformer for this. What am I munching on today? I am munching on some some gummies, some Japanese gummies that um, BB gifted me the other day. I'm eating some muscat grape flavored gummies. No, no, not the long ones. These are the- these are heart-shaped ones. Oh. Very tasty, though. Yeah, so it should be something like here. I can't say my my math ability is like in the negatives. Negative math ability. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I don't know, I don't even try sometimes. I'm just like, I know I can't- I can't do it, ma'am. Oops. Shit. There we go. And then I put this in the rotation. I realize there's the... Sunglasses, I forgot about. I need to place these. Maybe I'll do this first. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, Traffic. <laughs> I know it's pretty late over there. <laughs> you have a good sleep. Good sleep. Good luck at work. Thanks for coming by. Oh! Thank you, SG, for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. To maybe.
<laughs> Round 30 for the month. Yeah, we got we got tomorrow's a new tomorrow's a new month. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's April April Fools. Do you guys have any plans for April Fools? I never really do anything. I'm not really a big trickster. I don't tend to really do any like joke things. <laughs> I've done like one or two in the past, but it's always pretty not not you know not too crazy. But I'm not I'm not doing anything this year, so don't don't expect any crazy jokes on my timeline. <laughs> Another thirty tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe my brother think Bloody Mary was real. Oh god. Oh no. I don't really have anything planned this year, but I've done some things in the past. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Just light, light hearted fun stuff is always good. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hype train, guys. Got a free ticket to, for a disco tech tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Twitter's kind of already like. Because, like, it's already April 1st and. A lot of areas of the world, so it's like you gotta already be on your toes. <laughs> be on your toes, never know what's gonna pop up. Oh, yeah, welcome. Oh, are you, are you trying to do live 2D with your like trackpad? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you need a mouse or a tablet for Live 2D. It's doing it on a trackpad is like. Oof. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, turning around was really good. <laughs> no, uh, I'm gonna be listening, but gonna lie down, not feeling like I did it. Oh, okay. I hope you feel better. Hope you get some good rest. Mm -hmm. Been trying to drink more more water recently. think how I wanted to position this. I could put it behind the hair and then that would let me position it further back a bit. Or I could just keep it in front. It is kind of like, I guess not to be super, it's not supposed to be like super realistic or anything, but. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, good luck on homework. Didn't have a mouse since I haven't used one in years, but I found one. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like Life2D, you definitely have to have at least a mouse for it. Mouse or like a tablet would be good, but I, I actually haven't tried using a tablet with it, but I'm just comfortable with a mouse with it. But yeah. Trackpad's a bit rough for Life2D. <laughs> While I am streaming, I am also doing the current Destiny Child event. <laughs> so I might be looking down a little bit just to, just to run a few dungeon things. It's important. It's important. What do you use to draw and color your characters? I use my, my iPad Air to draw. Um, I use Clip Studio Paint. Yeah. Is that what the gotcha fun we go towards? Uh, maybe? 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 <laughs> maybe? Uh, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe? <laughs> I have to- I have to- I have to grind back to where I was! I lost my Korean account! I gotta grind back and- and I can't- I'm so weak now! I don't have 200 million plus six characters anymore! Max uncapped characters, they're all gone! I got a weak ass team! I gotta rebuild! for that the gotcha fund it's not even like really i don't even know if you would call it like i mean i guess it's gotcha fund but also not really because they have so many packs that are like more worth buying than like straight up doing polls where you can just like pay for a like a, a character and then like some stuff that helps you like level up the character so it's like you could like try for a gotcha or you could just straight up just like buy an of initial like I mean, uncapping the character is what gets them really, really, really strong, but it's like, you could also just buy a pack. And you just get the character. And then if you want, like, extra power, then you can do the gacha, you know? I, I like at least having the option. They didn't- back when I played the Korean version, they didn't have anything like that, so you just kind of had to, like, just pray with your free-to-play gems, or you would wail. <laughs> but at least they kind of offer a way of, like, at least there's some guarantee that you'll get that character if you really want it. Instead of praying for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. <laughs> so, I mean, the rates have never been that bad in that game. You get so many gems. But, you know. What I'm trying to say is Destiny Child, please fucking sponsor me. I will literally. I'll show for your game. I already do. <laughs> Found a mouse but no mouse pad. Oh no. Uh, I mean, you could use like a book or something. I don't know. Piece of. I don't know. In t in desperate times, I've used like an old tablet or like a a book. <laughs> the back of your iPad. <laughs> Books in esta economía. <laughs> yes, books. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you gotta make a you gotta make a throne, and we can buy you a mouse pad. <laughs>
can't do this perspective shift. <laughs> she get one. It's honestly like having like I mean it doesn't have to be a straight up like actual titty moose mouse pad. You could get a like the one I have isn't a isn't like a booba mouse pad. It's just a mouse pad with like padding where the booba I guess would be. <laughs> I want tits. Okay, that's that's no, that's valid. That's valid. is a completely valid desire. <laughs> I'm planning on playing Nikkei when it's available. Yes, absolutely. I was really bummed that I didn't get into the closed beta, but that's fine. That's fine. That just means I won't get, like, spoiled for the beginning. <laughs> I won't get spoiled that way, I guess. On the bright side. <laughs> Still salty, though. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Nikkei, definitely. Oh yeah, this song is um, Sobakasu, Sobakasu from uh, it's the opening of Runny Kenshin. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't done the, the ears yet. I probably will do those today, today though. Yeah, Sobakasu, very good song. Enjoy your lurk. <laughs> and enjoy your lurk. And enjoy your lurk. I'm trying to like I'm trying to like auto through the story right now because I need to catch up. I need to get those gems. I need to get those gems. I'm just like I wanted to get the- I'm still kind of salty because I missed out on the, the art book. I really wanted to get the Destiny Child art book, but it was a limited release and now it's just like gone. <laughs> I wanted- I wanted it so bad. And I can't find it anywhere. It was really- they, they haven't been doing like any reprints, I guess. Which make me sad. I want it.
let's see. I guess I'll just what? Good place to start is always with the boobs. The boobs dictate where everything goes. Kind of. Spooked me. <laughs> Very important. Yes. An MC. What's MC? Some fine boob X, gotta say. Those boobs sure are moving. Um, okay. Torso. Oh hey, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Second anniversary art book? I wanna- I think a back when I was playing, I think it was the first art book they released. I don't remember if that was the- Maybe that was the second anniversary one. Because I was playing it back when it came out, and then... I was playing it pretty consistently for like an entire year or two. Like every single day. I don't think I stopped logging in, ever. <laughs> I think it was the first. I think when I, w I was looking on their site earlier, and the only 
art book that was listed there was um, sold out. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Yeah, it must have been the that one then. Six bucks on release, but 160. Yeah, that sounds about right. Especially like with um with a lot of like mobile game merch in general, I would say the prices end up being pretty crazy because like I don't know, a lot of mobile games don't have that much merch, or if, if they do, it's quite limited. So things end up getting pretty scalped in price afterwards. Unfortunately. Such is the struggle. It's like, same with, um... We're talking about uh, Destiny Child. It's a mobile game that I, I've, I've liked for a long time. I recently started playing it again though, so now I'm kind of like back into it after a, a while. <laughs> um, but I really wish like... It's kind of the same way with like a lot of Ponya merch. Ponya merch is like super rare. Not not super super rare. There's like some things that are easy to get, but there's a lot of stuff that's just like gone with the time. With the times, it's been too long. <laughs> there's so much like the there's some like figures that exist technically, but it's like super. They're either like really low quality or like they just like aren't available at all. It's a really cute um figure I remember seeing back in the day yeah yeah it's always kind of surprising to me because like I, I know they make like bank off of I don't know I, I feel like so many mobile games make so much money but then I'm like why is the merch so limited y'all I know y'all have money I know you'll have you'll have plenty of resources to make this merch and you'll make more money by making the merch. Why? Why would you not make more merch? But I guess it depends on the game. I think some games are less, you know, m made f in <laughs> with potential for like merch. I feel like Destiny Child does so much. But they do have a lot of just good merch. I just wish it was more available. Yeah, yeah, I get, I, that's true, probably. Like, probably they make more money off of just general gotcha income than, like, selling merch, but... But they- so, <laughs> one thing I really, really think was really cool about Destiny Child is they had, like, a an art exhibit, kind of, that they put together in Korea, and they had these huge art panels. Um, and then after the event ended, they were like, what if we sell these? And so if you go- if you, uh, if you go to, like, the Destiny Child store and then you change it to the Korea uh like Korea store with the Korea language um you can see that they are selling the panels that they had at that event uh for like I mean they're selling it for a lot but like they are selling it and I think that's really cool I think it's cool that they didn't just like keep it and they're like no we'll, we'll sell it if people want to buy it um I think I know there was one that was like an eight panel thing that was going for like was it two million 
not not USD, um, Korean won. How much is that in USD? Almost two thousand dollars. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Wait, no, I want to link it now because it's super, it's super crazy to see. Let me go. Uh, Korean store. They had some crazy stuff. The yeah, the picture frames. If you go to oh yeah 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 here they are. I think they actually don't even have some. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It's the here it is. <laughs> look at look at this. If you go to this link, you can you can see all the panels they have from the exhibition that are left. Some people have already bought plenty of these, but these are the ones that are left still. And there's the there's the um where is it? The altered Davi frame one for three million one. <laughs> for three million one. <laughs> I'm like that's sick, but I'm surprised it's honestly still available. I thought someone would have bought it already. <laughs> like, I, I thought someone would have bought it, but I guess not yet. But you can see some of the ones have already been bought from like the bottom of the list. Those are the sold out ones. But I like the backgrounds a lot, though, but I'm not sure if it would be something I'd like want a super high quality frame of, though, you know, like I like the backgrounds, but not not that much. <laughs> but they're pretty cool looking though they're huge the uh the dimensions for this for this Dobby one is like do they have the dimensions listed here it's 4430 millimeters by 4310 millimeters by 25 Uh, so 14, 14 feet by 14 feet, about 14 by 14 feet, why, like large. <laughs> that's how big that thing is. But for 3 million won, maybe that's not a, I mean, that's kind of a steal maybe. <laughs> but yeah, that one's 14 feet wide, 14 weed, 14 weed, 14 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't an it wasn't an, an exhibition. I like it, it, that's why it's so huge. But all of these are pretty large. Um, there's that one, and then there's um, a bunch of the other ones are how big are these? One thousand by eight hundred. So a, a bunch of these other ones are like three feet, three feet, two feet. Still definitely large, but yeah. I, I'm, but yeah, I'm surprised that no one has actually bought it yet. I, I honestly thought it would be bought up pretty quickly. So I'm gonna have to fix this a bit more. I don't, <laughs> I don't know I mixed those words up, man. No. <laughs> yeah, welcome though. <laughs> but yeah, for like for a 14 by 14 foot like huge display, uh, you know that's not too bad of a price. That's not too bad. I mean, okay. Well, the thing is, that's only available in Korea. You can't. It's only available in the Korean shop, so I don't think you can get it shipped here. And if you could get it shipped here, I don't even know how much that would cost. 14 by 14 feet panels. Display panel. I don't even know how much that would cost. Probably the same price you could cost to buy it. <laughs> to be honest. And yeah, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm live. Live on Twitch. There you go. Um, uh, where 
do the torso go? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess if it was like 200 bucks, it, that's still not too bad considering the base price, but... <laughs> I feel like it'd be something way higher than that. Okay, this needs to be like... Oh, I see what I did. I need to move this whole part forward more. Push this a little bit too far back. <laughs> you know, shy. Yeah, it's museum size. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I guess if you had a really big ass house, then you'd be like, yeah, sure, I have a I have a 14 by 14 spot on my wall to just put this huge display. <laughs> but yeah, I I wish I could have gone, but it was in Korea. I, I wasn't gonna fly over there <laughs> for an art exhibition. I'm not that I'm not, I'm not- I don't got that money to just fly to Korea for that. I wish I did, but... Where did this go? Where did the collar go? Here it is. I guess it's actually kind of... up. There we go. ribbon. I guess I'll just move all of this. Ribbon X, Y. Cause this is gonna need to be like is life to the cubism. If we were to commission you with our own art, would we be able to have... Or would we have to cut the character in a specific way? Um, yeah, yeah. 
So any like raid commissions um, I require the, the PSD to be cut up appropriately, which means pretty detailed cutting. Um, yeah. I'm gonna open this um, grape flavored one. I'm trying to make sure I don't eat all of these in one day. <laughs> they ship to the US. Yeah, yeah. The the Korean store is like I'm pretty sure everything on the Korean store is only shipping to Korea cuz there's some merch that is only available like on the like that is available on the Korean store but isn't available on the global store. Apart from just those panels, there's like other stuff. So it seems like it is kind of like the only stuff that can be shipped globally is the stuff that's on the English store. Unfortunately, so I just gotta keep a lookout <laughs> for whenever they update that. Oh god. Um, ooh, this might be kind of um, tough to line this up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you should try it out. Not just because... I, I honestly think it's a pretty fun game. And I still stand by, even though the global version has kind of pushed some, like, pay things more than they used to on the Korean version, I, I do think still that it is a nicer, a more friendly game than a lot of other mobile games in my experience because you get like the the currency you get the you get gems like very easily in this game so you can easily do like one or two pulls a day like 10 rolls and they, they give up give out 10 rolls very openly but that's because like in that game having copies of characters is really what helps scale the the stats of the character so they kind of encourage you to do lots of pulls so you can like Hopefully, you know, get copies of certain characters to make them stronger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's- I think they've actually made it very, um, a lot more casual friendly than they used to- it used to be. Before, you'd have to, like, really grind for some events to get characters from them and stuff. But now they make it so you get the character, like, pretty much instantly from the get-go of the event. And then, like, if you want extras, you- you can kind of grind for that, but... Yeah, they've made it a lot- a lot better and yeah like they also made it so that um compared to before like there's like daily missions and it used to be that you had to do like 13 of them to get like the the daily reward but they changed that now you only have to do like five and they're super easy like simple things that you'd probably do anyway <laughs> yeah yeah people are still playing it um it seems like it's still like pr pretty popular I'm I'm just sad that I lost my Korean account because that's where all of my really effort had gone into. I didn't really play much of the global version. I played a bit of the Japanese one as well, but the the game the part <laughs> the the region that I played the most was the Korean version. So it's kind of sad that I have to start from zero again. But oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, I think what also kind of helps is that um, it looks really good. Like, all of the units look very appealing. Except for, like, I guess some of like the, the lower star characters, but... I feel like when you get a rare character, it really feels like the art or the character matches the rarity, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Gotcha. We're talking about Destiny Child. I've been a long time fan of that game. Since 
free release. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people kind of stopped after a while. They kind of just, um, I think there was a period where they didn't really add much new stuff. I think I stopped kind of like a, it was, I remember I stopped playing the Korean version kind of right around after they had added in like the, like the battle pass stuff. And I was kind of like, I don't really, and like they hadn't really been adding much content at the time, but it seems like they've added a ton of stuff since then. So there's plenty of new systems and stuff for me to get into. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I have a few friends who have been playing Epic 7 for a long time. I tried to get into it, but it wasn't really my thing. Yeah, I think, um, one thing I do like about the Tiles is that they've kind of like over the years made the auto system a bit better. So you can kind of really adjust how, like, it used to be that you'd have to kind of manually grind a lot of stuff, but for some of like the more not, you know, not important stuff, they've made it so that you can kind of like auto do like most of the daily stuff if you don't want to manually do it. Though you still need to kind of manually play for if you want to really get like good scores for like the raid stuff or like any of the, I guess, competitive stuff you have to... At a certain point, you do have to start <laughs> manually playing, like, the PvP, really. You can set up auto teams, but doing it manually always ends up being better at certain points. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I feel like Genshin is kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Genshin. I like, I like playing Genshin for the exploration, but the gotcha side of it, I'm like... Mm -mm. Welcome. I'm a Scotch game I've ever played might be Brave Exodus. Oh yeah. 
Di isn't- are, are they closing it down? I thought I saw something about that. Was I thinking of something else? I might be mixing it up with something else, though. <laughs> I feel like the- for me, with Genshin, it's almost like the opposite. Like, I- I enjoy the game a lot as, like, a- just a normal video game, but then I'm like... But then I'm like, oh yeah, it's a gotcha game, huh? <laughs> like, I- yeah, I have, like, the opposite problem. I- I really- my brain loves to interpret it as just a, a normal video game, but then it's like... Oh god, it's gotcha. But I have like an amount of characters that, like at this point. It's, but I don't. I'm not really super into the grind. The way that they set up the grind in that game, I feel like it could be a bit better for like raising characters up. Oops. I don't know if it's closing down. I, I might be mixing it up with something else. I know there's Dragalia that was gonna close down, or they announced it, that they were like stopping service. And then there's one other game that people have been playing for quite a while that was gonna close down. It wasn't Dragalia Lost, it was a different game. Something. Something that was like one of the. something I had recognized. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I. I would love a version of Kenshin that like. It was just the game, but without, you know, the gotcha. But I, of course, I'm not gonna do that. They're making so damn, so much damn money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I took such a long break from Genshin. Is like I had kind of like cleared most of the content, and then I was like, now what? <laughs> like once you get strong, and once there's nothing else to grind, and you have really good artifacts, you're like, okay, now what? And then at that point, it's just like, I guess I just stopped playing the game, and that's what I did. But it's definitely kind of like an odd feeling when a game is just like, don't, don't play anymore, there's nothing to do. I mean, Final Fantasy does that nicely, I think. Because <laughs> it feels like the devs made it in a way that's like, yeah, take a break, man. Whereas Genshin, it feels like it's like, take a break! It's like an aggressive take a break instead of like a like you played a lot. Time to take a break. So it's a <laughs> Final Fantasy has a, a nice vibe of giving you a break, whereas Genshin is like reprimanding you for playing a bunch. Yeah, I haven't, I've not spent that much in Genshin at all. I think total I've maybe spent 60 bucks, if I'm remembering right. I did I did spend a little bit for Yamiko, I think, and then I spent a little bit for Hutao, I think. But other than that, I haven't really... Like, I don't like really paying for roles in games. I'd prefer to... Like, if I'm gonna play... If I'm gonna pay for something in a game, I'd prefer it not to be just for, like, straight-up roles. I'd prefer to have it be something a little bit better that's more guaranteed. Like, if I'm, if I'm gonna spend money, I'd like it at least to be guaranteed, which that is, like... That's, like, I guess how it is for Genshin for me as well. Like, I'm not gonna spend money in Genshin unless I'm, like... I feel like I'm close to the... What is it? Um... Like, mileage or whatever. Like, I'm guaranteed the... Or, pity. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's why, like, this, I think that's why it's hard for me to get into most other mobile games, is because a lot of them... Well, I, I think mileage systems are becoming more common nowadays, but, like, definitely years ago, I felt like there were barely any games that had mileage systems, and I really hated that, because I was like, at least give me some kind of guarantee eventually. <laughs> you know? And hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, like, I'd like at least to have, like, some... Some sort of system where it's like... Eventually you'll get something. It'll take a while, but, like, at least it's guaranteed. At least.
<laughs> oh lord, 6,000? Grand Blue? And not getting the character, that's- now that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do really like... Like, how Genshin looks. I do feel like... I'm, I think I've mentioned it before, but I still wish they would kind of mix up the body types and body proportions. Like, I get why they don't want to do that, because it's more it's more work and more asset creation, but... I, I want each character to be a bit more unique, apart from just, like, the hair and, like, the height. <laughs> like, they should really mix it up. Like, I, I know they, they, adjust, they adjust the face sculpt a bit. It's not, like, completely copy and paste, but, like, I feel like they really don't do much with the body. And I get why, but I'm like, can you, though? <laughs> can you? Like, I don't, I don't need, like, a huge variety of, of weight types, but I just want just at least different body shapes. Like, I don't know. I would like more variety in that as well, but like, yeah, yeah, I just like, I feel like there's just such, so much space for improvement in, the, in that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, like give more variations in terms of like body type, skin tone, face shape, like, I just, I just want more variation. And I was so mad when I saw that, I was like, when I saw, what was his name, Ito, the, the kind of like Oni? more buff dude when i saw his reveal i was like i saw the picture and i was like oh no i don't think they're gonna make him this this buff i'm not i don't think they're gonna adjust his body type are they and then i saw the video i was like oh they didn't fucking do it of course they didn't i don't i don't know i don't know why i was in the back of my head hoping that they were gonna do it but but alas <laughs> yeah it, like the the his art looks like he's gonna be like fucking ripped and like kind of like thick and then like <laughs> and then the the model gets shown and you're like who is this <laughs> who is this bro <laughs> yeah like just give me some meat man i just want some meat i'm starving over here <laughs> he's thick in our hearts yeah <laughs> Uh, I was really, I was really bummed about that because I thought that like maybe this was finally like one of the turning points maybe, and then I was completely proven wrong by them just being like, nope, nope, not even, not even for this character, nope. Like, all right, bitch, all right. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. I like I, I like some Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh actually no, I'm gonna auto this. And then I'll just This area. <laughs> I'm a I'm a woman of very 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 many 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 tastes. I'll keep it at that.
Okay, and glow. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah yeah dragalia yeah i noticed that too it's very like hmm done studying for the day cubism editor said no saves <gasps> oh no was it not it wasn't letting you save or did it like straight up crash Sorry. So thanks for coming by. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Like dehydrated SpongeBob. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, I've caught up on this story. If this new child, no, I don't know what am I gonna grind. I don't have any easy gems now. Now I have to actually do the the hard version of the story. <laughs> This is fine. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't I didn't realize it was that bad for Mac. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah, I wish you luck with the Left D on PC though. Yeah. Good night. Hope you have a good good rest. <laughs> Layers of physics does your or layer of layer of hair. Uh I'm trying to remember. I have a good amount of layers though for the hair. Like one, two, three. I think I had five for each side for the back hair. And then for the upper hair. Um quite a bit as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten layers for like the bang area and then the side hair i just had like two or three i think <laughs> yeah i did draw a good amount of hair it was necessary <laughs> necessary evil <laughs> rest question mark rest healing no. Pain? Maybe. Depends what you're doing and on stuff. <laughs> Depends what you're doing, I suppose. Why does this appear? Down here. <laughs> oh hey, welcome, welcome. Okay, this should kind of work once I fix the glue. Oh god. Once I fix the glue. I'm doing good. I'm uh I'm big chillin'. Big chillin' today. <laughs> big chillin'. I'm just sipping some water, doing some live TD, eating some tasty gummies, which I should probably stop eating. I, I need to save some of these. <laughs> I can't eat all of these before like Beefy's even here. <laughs> Beefy's gonna be like, how are the uh, how are the gummies? Did they get there yet? I'm like, yeah, they're gone already. <laughs> I gotta save him. I gotta save him. I gotta have have some self self restraint here. <laughs> yeah, I got some I got some grape and green grape ones. I already ate the green grape ones. I'm trying to stop from eating all of the grape ones. 
Yeah, it, it's really easy for me to kind of just like, when I get something, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, and I just go in, like... <laughs> I need to get better about not doing that, because it, <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> Oops. Like, I have a really... Oh, I have such a sweet tooth. I feel like I could just eat things forever. Eat sweet things forever. But I, I need to I need to get better at not doing that, because it's not the best for me. <laughs> it ain't. It just ain't. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I used to drink more soda. Not a ton, because my mom would never let me, but like when I was out, I would get sodas. But I've... I kind of moved away from soda for the most part. I mostly just have bubbly water, but I haven't- I ran out, so I'm just drinking water. <laughs> I need to go and get some more bubbly. Yeah, snacks are yummy. I need to- I have- I have my stash of senbei crackers. I might grab a few. I- before stream, I had some Greek food, and that was pretty good, but I feel like I am gonna get hungry in, in a bit. I, I ended up, <laughs> I probably shouldn't because it was for lunch, but I was like, I ended up getting some sweet stuff. They had, they had a choice between baklava and, oh, rest is thank you. <laughs> thank you for summing with Prime. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your sub, enjoy your email. <laughs> but yeah, I, I had the choice between baklava and then what are they called? Benets? The, the like sweet donut circles. It had like honey and nuts on it. I got those instead of the baklava because I've gotten baklava from that place before and it was, it was good, but it's always so sticky, you know? I feel like it's very hard to eat baklava without getting at least a little bit of like the honey on you. <laughs> so I thought maybe the, the, the donut things would be a bit easier to eat. And they were, but I think they were a little bit too sweet for lunch. For, well, lunch, dessert. I, I had a thing for lunch, but... I wanted a little treat, but maybe I shouldn't have because I feel like it kind of made me feel worse <laughs> to have too much sugar earlier in the day. Maybe that was kind of a mistake. Just this still. Yeah. It's like whenever I'm ordering food, it's so easy for me to be like, ooh, that sounds nice and sugary. I guess I'll get it. And then, and then I regret the decision later. and Cottoner bathing together on the little on the, on the cat bed. Wait, I need to try to grab a picture without distracting them. Okay, I think I distracted them anyway, but <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> I got a picture. <laughs> I got a picture of Cotton, like, licking fucking- licking Rose's, like, eyeball. <laughs> that was not intended. <laughs> oh, I gotta post this in the cat chat. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. Rose looks, like, so over it. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna throw this in the... Yeah, I'm gonna throw this in the Discord.
wild. All right, this is going in cat chat. What? <laughs> She's really licking her face. <laughs> I didn't mean to, to take a picture at that moment. I just it was perfectly timed. <laughs> Rose is just like, why? <laughs> you guys are so silly. Nah, they're they're big chilling right now. They're having big cute cute bathing time. Um, I don't really need to do the hand physics, so I might not do it. that the hand rotation won't really be seen so I will just do the arm and then forearm rotation that should be fine um arm arms there we go oh yeah hey welcome <laughs> I guess this is just two pendulums. Hmm. Though I wonder if I should do this for like, maybe I should move it down. So there's some delay. I could set this to like two, three. Looks kind of silly, but that's because. Okay. Hmm. Um, maybe I'll do like one lower. Do I have this? Yeah, I do. Okay.
I never really understood why the angle works like this. Why is it that if I have things set to angle, if I have two pendulums, why does it go back to zero? Why does it go back to the middle of the pendulum? I don't understand. Like, why is it when it's on one pendulum and it does the angle, it stays in that part of the pendulum? Or part of the perimeter? Like, it goes to the right and then to the left. But when I have it on the second one, it, like, bounces back. Why? I don't understand. I simply don't understand. something stupid are you aware you were aware <laughs> she was ta she was like tackling the side of the cat bed and while she was tackling it she started to slip off the edge and then she like just very like <laughs> clumsily fell off and like was trying to hang on and then she kind of just like tumbled off but in like a really clumsy way she's fine but you know, like, you can tell when, like, a cat does a thing and they're, like, you can tell that they're, like, very embarrassed because they, like, they know that you know that they fucked up. Yeah, that was one of those moments. I was reading online, though, like, apparently you're not supposed to laugh at a cat when they do something bad or when they do something, something stupid, like, when they fuck up. Apparently you're not supposed to laugh at them because apparently they actually feel bad. Like, apparently, it actually worsens the relationship between you and your cat if you laugh at them when they do something stupid. A apparently. Apparently. Allegedly. But it's so hard. It's so hard when they do something really stupid to not at least chuckle a bit. But, like, apparently, you're supposed to try to, try to like, ignore, ignore it. Like, if they do something really stupid, like, don't, don't react at all. You're supposed to be like, nope, didn't say anything, didn't. Like you're not trying you're supposed to like not react at all and like not make a big deal out of it but but like It's so hard. It's so fucking hard not to <laughs> But like apparently like though if you like laugh at them, it's like It's like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like the when you laugh at them, they're like how fucking dare you you know I fucked up I'm so embarrassed now, and then they, they'll get, like, kind of mad at you for laughing at their embarrassment. Which I get. But it's so hard not to. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, and hey, hey, welcome. Making is going good. We've been working on the, the X angle a little bit today. Yeah. Just these bits. Did you cat proof the computer yet? Uh, kinda, yeah, yeah. So I did actually, I did put the little plastic, like, child proof cap on the power supply. Um, but I haven't really. I ended up using some double-sided tape, which is not really ideal. I need to just, like, figure out what I want to... Because it doesn't come with adhesive. So I need to figure out what I want to use to, like, attach it to the power supply. Because I, I just don't want to put on put anything on there that might be bad if it gets, like, hot. Like, I don't know. Because if the power supply gets a bit warm and, like, if it's glue, will it, like, melt it? And then make it move around? Like... 
I don't know. So I just put some double-sided tape on it for now to attach it. It's been working so far. I have noticed. I have noticed, though, after I put it on, Rose went to, like, go step on the power supply and sit on it, but then she saw the cap and she's like, Man, you're no fun, and she, like, walked away from it. <laughs> I think she knows what I did. I think she's aware that I, I have now made it so that she can't step on the button. Cause she like visibly like looked at it and was like, mm, I guess I don't have anything to do anymore. <laughs> she knows. She knows I, I know what she's up to. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I feel like it would probably melt if I put some kind of you have some like super glue. I don't know though. Like I don't know if it's bad to put glue on something like that that could potentially get warm. <laughs> Speaking of X angles, I did my own X angles on my chibi model using some of your bods. I'm very happy. It looks very looks so cool. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to help a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit. She's too smart. She understands that I I, I know what she's doing. <laughs> she knows. It's still kind of bugging me a little bit. I guess I just need to kind of tone it down for this. This looks kind of silly. Um... Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's a king. Hey! Thank you. 
<laughs> Boomer Friday. It's it's Thursday. It's Thursday though. <laughs> it ain't Friday yet. <laughs> It's almost. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, Booba Friday then, Booba Friday. <laughs> Booba Friday then. Um, let me copy this a little bit first. Realizing I should have this probably not move that much for the bottom area. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Let me get up and I'll stretch a bit. <laughs> yeah, every day is, is Booba Friday in our hearts. <sighs> mm. oh. oh my god, I got kind of lightheaded getting up. <laughs> I mean, I could make it kind of... I could... I could make it... Maybe actually I can't. Maybe I... Maybe I, I did actually stretch enough yesterday that I actually can't crack anything today. But that's probably for the better. <laughs> chilling it's got it started getting warmer so cotton is now like at the phase where she's just kind of like finding different spots around the house that are a bit cooler <laughs> she's just flopping all over the place because she has longer fur than rose so she kind of has to deal with more more of the temperature yeah she's being a weirdo oh Rose and Cotton are now tackling each other. It's that time of the day, I guess. Lazing around and tackling each other. <laughs> okay. Um. Are going places. Now they're going places. Hell yeah. Does she have a hard time in the summer? Oh, not too bad. It, but. Oh! <laughs> but. I feel like. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like 
cotton handles the, the heat better than I do. Like, I feel like she'll she'll be laying around and she'll be like, man, this sucks, but I'm fine, I guess. But me, I'm like sweating. Yeah. I feel like she handles it better than I do. I'm trying to think if, if this is too much. Maybe a little. Oops, not that. Um, I was thinking like maybe I should try to put this to the second pendulum instead. Oh no, that was the wrong decision. Rose has been doing this thing recently. Well, she started doing something again recently that she used to do, which is... Lobster is a fight stick for, like, fighting games. And, like, Rose recently has been, like, going up to the fight stick. And, like, you know, like, the circular part of the joystick? She's just been, like, straight up just going, like... Like, she's, like, she's gnawing on it. And I'm just... I'm very confused. I'm, I don't... I'm not sure why she would do that. I'm not sure what seems appealing. Like, what part of a, f like a, a fight stick is appealing to a cat. I'm not sure what is drawing her to it. But she has been just going over into the corner where the fight stick is and just like gnawing on it. And it's fine, I've been checking it. But I'm just confused. I just have many questions as to why. <laughs> not that she can answer me, but... It's a very odd thing to, to gnaw on. <laughs> Here, you can look so natural. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's just very, very odd. Very odd. Precious baby hearts, yeah. <laughs> Cat, like shower curtain and radiator? What? Wild. Yeah. Cats just be weird sometimes, I guess. <laughs> That's what it comes down to, huh? Okay, what I'm gonna do for this is I think I'm gonna copy this. And then I'm gonna glue it. Um, 
and then I want this to be part of the ribbon here. So that way, when this moves, it will like move this as well. Uh, where did the back ribbon go? Here we go. Ah. Hey, Rose, I was just talking about you. What are you doing? She's gnawing on the fight stick again. Rose. Actually, I guess it is almost dinner time for the cats. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize time has passed. Okay, I have not done a ton today. I guess I kind of started late though. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, hey, welcome. <laughs> yeah, the work's been going good. I've been working a bit less today, but that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, time does fly. Okay, so what I was thinking is maybe I'll have it like this. So, ideally... Yes! So if I move this around, it will just move the ribbon around too. this a little bit more though. Um, I think I want this to blend a bit better. <laughs> I just keep hearing the sound of her gnawing on the the sound of her gnawing on the fight stick in the background. <laughs> you foolish cat. <laughs> Weirdo. There you go. <laughs> yes, I have the power. The power of the ribbon. So with that, that should make things a bit easier now, too. Okay. gonna do a deformer for the ribbon to react to the boot. Important.
very important. And then, then I also want to do one for this. <laughs> Looking respectively. Okay, and then I need to do this for this as well. Should get the job done for the boobs. Yeah, that helps with that. Um, and then. I still need to do the XY for these though. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing.
Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Estella. Thanks, Luca. <laughs> Something like that for the XY. I think I can just paste this in the reflective. This should be fine. They're in the same deformer, so. I guess so. Hmm, I'm still need to adjust the upper ribbon again. I would also like to make them go left and right. Currently I have the ribbons just going out and in, but I should probably have them separated into left and right for the best effect for these dangling ones. into right and left. So I guess I'll have this one be left. The things I do for boob movement. Things I do. Um. one to B. 
ribbon. Where is it? Ribbon one. Ribbon two. And then ribbon. I guess. Okay, these are okay. I think that yeah, yeah, that's all. It's on three. Okay, ribbon three. Um, somewhere here. There we go. <laughs> this is the vibes very important. Okay. Um, I guess I'll rename this to ribbon uh, left, and then. I will duplicate it and make it in right. Where is ribbon one? Two and then ribbon three. Maybe I'll just adjust these very slightly. Just a little bit. Though I might do this opposite. Okay, no, never mind, never mind. Let's find out what it Should I do this on the... Uh, do I want to do this on the art mesh? Maybe. So I probably can just copy it. I think, yeah, they're symmetrical. Did you have the model that you're rigging or did someone else? Um, someone else did. You can find the information, the link to the artist um, with the rig command. I drew my own model, but not the model I'm working on right now. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the stretch. Well, let me stretch a bit then. Mm. <sighs> 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 
think I'm gonna try these lemon gummies. Might kind of zap me awake if they're sour. I'm kind of hoping they're sour. At least a little bit. I mean, if those are Amazu Pai, which means sour, so. Hmm. Oh. Okay. They're not really sour, but they have a nice, strong citrus flavor, though. Do it on the art mesh, it should be fine. Allows me to do some more stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, what is it? Jazzy remixes of some J pop. <laughs> yeah. works oh hell yeah <laughs> we love to hear it what's your favorite anime movie Ooh, that's a, that's a question anime movie mm. Mm. I'm trying to think what I've really really enjoyed I have a lot of nostalgia for like the first Digimon movies. Um, I rewatched them recently and I, I still enjoyed them a lot. The pacing's a bit weird, but. But there's also, I know the English version like combined a bunch of like two of the movies and like messed up the pacing. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hydrate. Um, trying to think. I think what anime movies I've like seen recently even. I don't know, I can't even really I can't even really think of many. I mean I really like like all of the Miyazaki movies, of course, but Like there was some really good ones that I'm just not thinking of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay, okay. Those were some of the ones I was thinking of. <laughs> I really, really like your name. I really like that. I wasn't actually too into weathering with you. I, I didn't hate it, but I felt like I felt like a lot of the pacing and like some of the big plot, the way that they went around doing some of the plot points, it kind of felt like. He was like, oh yeah, your name did pretty well. What if I did the same thing? <laughs> like I I thought it would be a little bit more different, but I felt like where they did all the all the like montage sections and where they placed the music like was really a little bit too close to your name. I was like, I kinda wanted them to mix it up a bit. 
I like, like when I was watching your name, I felt like nothing ever exactly. Oh, one second. But yeah, when I, I felt like, I, f <laughs> I just felt like they could have changed up some of the ways that the pacing went with that movie and where they had like the the montage sections I, I just felt like it was a little bit too similar that it was kind of bugging me <laughs> yeah but yeah yeah I really like the G Digimon ones I've watched the first like two many times <laughs> But then, when I watched Summer Wars after I had seen the Digimon movies, I was like, is this not the same shit? <laughs> and now every- Oh, what was it? There's another movie by the same dude. The- the one with like the- the- the animal- animal- like, dad, and then the kid. That I really liked. I really liked that movie. I cried at that movie. Um. Yeah, yeah, Point of the Beast, that's what it was. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Um, I, I liked Summer Wars, but there were some parts of it that I was kind of like, eh, about. <laughs> I felt like some parts of it could be better. Oh, and I- oh, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Fatima Inverted. I, yeah, I really like that movie. I loved the shit out of that movie when I saw it. Um, I like that one, and then... Oh, I was just thinking of it. I was just thinking of it. What was it? Another one I really liked. Just thinking of it. Oh yeah, yeah, Silent Voice. It, it was <laughs> Silent Voice is so funny to me because I had read Silent Voice back when it was like a one shot, and then I didn't keep up with it at all. Like I, I was just like, oh, it's just a one shot. That was a pretty good story. Um, but then like. I found out later that it like continued and it became an actual like manga and I was like, oh shit, because I had read I had only read the the one shot and then it be then it actually became a, like a, a longer story, <laughs> um, and I was like, oh shit, there's more, there's more story now, hell yeah, um, I watched the movie, it was very it was good. <laughs> I remember I I did read more of the manga after I found out that it had become a manga, um, but I didn't never finish it, but I would like to go back and finish it at some point. But I, I think the movie covered most of the story, but I, I, I don't remember if, if there are some parts that it missed out on. No. Yeah. Premiere, no, I, I, I watched Premiere because people were hyping it up, but I'm not, I wasn't actually, it wasn't really my thing, but I haven't really been vibing with, like, Studio Trigger for a while, though. <laughs> I don't know. I used to be really into Studio Trigger, but I feel like at some point, something something changed. I don't know. It was like, I guess it was around, like, Kill a Kill, that time period. Something changed that I'm like, I feel like it's not really, it doesn't, It. I'm, I'm not vibing with Studio Trigger as much as I used to, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know exactly what it is, but maybe it's just like the way that they ha they like do comedy and stuff. I don't know, but I feel like that hasn't changed that much. I don't know. No, no, I wasn't really into Inferno Cup either. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I really, what was it? Oh, I guess I'm mixing it up. What was it? Am I mixing it up? I thought they did. Oh, I guess it wasn't suit. The who did Gray and the Gun? Guy next. Oh, okay, okay. Well, okay. I guess that that is that then. I guess I just don't really like Studio Trigger. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, re I really, okay. Because I really, really liked Garen Lagan, but I didn't really like much of stuff from that team after that. I guess once they became Studio Trigger, I kind of like wasn't vibing with their stuff as much. <laughs> I love Garen Lagan though. Garen Lagan is like definitely one of my top 10 anime of all time. That shit is amazing to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Little Witch Academia. I, I remember the, was it the OVA? Or was it the movie that came first? Um, I remember when that first came out, and I liked that, but I didn't actually enjoy the, what was it, the anime that they made for it? I tried watching it, but it wasn't really, I feel like I enjoyed Little Witch Academia more when it was not a show. <laughs> when it was just like kind of its own like small thing. I wasn't, I felt like the, it was kind of, I liked it more when more of the inter interactions between everything were more vague, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the characters kind of ended up being not how I expected them to be, or not how I kind of felt like they were going to end up when I watched the some of the anime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, CC. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to watch, go and watch more. Uh, go back and watch a lot of the Ghibli movies. It's been a long time. <laughs> Yeah, Green the God's super good. I I was rewatching it. So Lobster hadn't watched Gurren Lagan before. Um, and I was like, you have to, what the fuck? How have you not watched Gurren Lagan yet? So we were I think I mentioned this at some point before on my streams, but we were watching it. Um, and we got to like the the last like three two two or three episodes, and he was like, I'm not watching the rest of it. It's too good. I don't want it to end. I'm like, you have to finish it. The ending is really good. That's what makes it all come together. And he's like, no, no, I don't want it to end. If I don't finish it, it never ends. I'm like, that, 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 you have to, you have to finish the damn series. So we still haven't finished Girl and the God together. I mean, I, I've, I've watched it plenty of times, but I'm like, come on. I want to finish watching it together with you, please. <laughs> Yeah, I have to drag him into what finally finishing it. But he's like, no, it'll end if I finish it. <laughs> mm. I watched um, what was it? I it was like one of my friend's birthday parties long long time ago. I watched the um, what, what was it? Pompoko, the one about the tanukis. I watched that at like one of my friend's houses for her birthday, and I was like, oh. This is a very long movie. Also, lots of balls. But I was mostly just like, damn, this is a long movie. <laughs> I liked I liked the characters in Kill a Kill, but I think for me, um, as a personal thing, I, I I have a hard time watching shows that combine like serious scenes and comedy a lot, if that makes sense. Um, I like, I like shows that have, if they're having like kind of serious themes, I, I want them to kind of like either do that or do comedy. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of when they insert a bunch of comedy into kind of like, I don't know, I, it's, I get too much whiplash from it. There's a lot of times where I'm, I'll be watching a, like a comedy and I'm like, but this is a serious issue that should have a serious plot point, but then it's like none of the characters are taking it seriously because it's a comedy. And I don't know, for some reason I'm just not really into that, um, like, that type of storytelling. It's just not really for me. So, um, I, I tried to enjoy Kiliko, but it really wasn't, wasn't my thing. I, I wanted them to, like, go more serious with it, but then it's, like, totally not what that show was about. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe that's why it's hard, it's hard for me to get into Studio Trigger's stuff. And I think that's why I liked Gurren Lagann as well. Gurren Lagann was over the top and definitely wild and had lots of like comedy in it. It did still like take the time to um, focus on a lot of, what is it? A lot of serious topics and they, they really spent time to like be delicate and careful with them, I guess. Um, whereas a lot of the Studio Trigger stuff kind of from there onward, I guess, le leaned more towards combining comedy and those serious topics instead of kind of 
having them more separate, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, for me, it's I, I have a hard time watching stuff that can kind of w hops between super serious and like super comedy and like not taking. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a personal personal preference of mine. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the designs, though. <laughs> um, for this, I want to... I think I'm gonna actually just do some art mesh stuff on this. Because I want to make this go back further. I think I tried watching a few episodes of um, the Hanakokun. I wasn't super vibing with it though. Probably, I, I think it's just like in general that type of stuff. I'm just like one or the other. I need one genre or the other, not two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like it's just like so. It jumps so quickly between different moods that my my brain can't keep up i'm like i i just need i need some time man i need some time for the serious moments to like settle in before you jump into like a whole skit <laughs> a whole comedy skit <laughs> i need some time <laughs> hey god oh she just squeaked at me uh i think i'm off, i'm gonna have to be right back i, I should probably feed the cats Khan is doing the thing where she's being like, why, why haven't you fed me yet? Squeak. Squeak. Um, let me see. <laughs> there, she can be moving around while I, uh... I go and feed the cats. Um, should only take like five minutes or so. I should be back pretty soon. I'm just gonna go feed the kitties and then I'll be back, uh, to work more. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Okay, I have returned. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, sorry. I don't have the uh, throwing on today. <laughs> oh yeah, Sachi, thank you for coming by. We have a good night. Anissa, welcome. <laughs> um, guys, I have something very... <laughs> I, I have something to share with you. So, earlier today... Earlier today, I had- you know I have like- I, I got the- whoa! <laughs> I got the like, little- little Among Us like, like imposter plushie, you know? With the squeaker. <laughs> I- I got- you know, I got that the other day. And so I was squeaking it earlier and like, kind of like, moving around. And it fell off of like, my little, like, shelf thing. And Rose was like, Oh, what's this? <laughs> and she started playing with it. So I like was like, okay, well, like we can play with it. So I was like throwing it around and she was like chasing after it and she was having a big fun old time. She was really into the squeaker actually. I should probably get her a proper squeaker toy. But um <laughs> the Rose was chasing after the the little little among us dude and she kept like picking it up and carrying it around with her, like in her mouth. Just like from the backpack. <laughs> on the back and uh when i just went co to go feed them just now i found i found the little among us imposter plushie in in their water bowl <laughs> she had picked it up played with it and thrown it in the water bowl and played around with it in the water bowl it's fine the squeaker still works but i need to be a bit more careful with it <laughs> I forgot that she likes to do that with her toys sometimes. <laughs> it's fine though, it's fine, luckily, but it's just a little bit damp. It's a little bit wet. Uh, so I, I took it out. <laughs> yeah, my, my cat tried to fucking waterboard <laughs> the imposter. <laughs> and thank you, thank you. Yeah, I made I made my model myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did, I just didn't think about the fact that she would probably try drowning it. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. That that is a way. That is certainly a way. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll add some more. I think at some point I did have a cat toy on there, but oh, oh shit! A raid. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, mateys. <laughs> Come on, raid. Hell yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna do a shout out. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Wow. You're streaming art. What were you working on? I hope you had a good stream. I've been doing some live 2D today. Mostly just working on like body angle stuff. I might make this go up a bit higher still though. Thank you, I've been having a good stream. We've been chilling. <laughs> Doing some life 2D faking too? Oh, nice, nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> We'd love to see it. Um, let's see. I think that should be good for that. And then to think I guess there is the okay before I flip anything I need to do some more I need to do the card again as well um I might glue some stuff here not sure yet though have not decided what I want to do with it just do this for now and then deal with it 
Um. Probably do some glue for the top part, but for now, I'll just do X, Y. And then this side. I have to make sure the boob retains the shape. I'll have to do physics for this as well. Um, I guess I need to make sure these are same amount here. Something like that, I think. Maybe more of this could be over here. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate. I need to grab some more water soon. cardigan. I'm not sure if I had that. Um, maybe I did though. Maybe I did it. Oh, I don't think I did. I guess didn't ask for having a back part for this 
cardigan, so I might have to kind of squish it. Probably, I can probably just copy the other back part. I think. I can probably just copy this and then just kind of deform it in the way that I need it to be for this. I think that will work out. I think that will be fine. I don't think I really need a new part drawn. I just need to make sure I line everything up as needed. Something like that should be... Good, I think. And then put this back here. Um, oh, but maybe I actually need it above the arm though. Um, and then I'll have this be with. this and then I'll have this be its own thing I will have this go like that and then like up here as well I guess I guess I'll mm, do the top as an inverted mask, maybe? No. Okay. Okay. I wanted to get this little part, but that's fine. Because I'm going to need to move the cardigan sleeve anyway. That works. That works fine. Um, and then I guess I do still need to make a what is it? Make a deformer for the boob movement. Um. This one first, I guess. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, and thank you for the posture check. Kind of, I was kind of leaning over a bit. There we go. Okay, and then just this. Four. Two, five. Perfect. Mostly. April Fools. Yeah. Happy happy April. Almost. I mean depending on where you are, it's probably already April. There's plenty of people. April's my 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 birthday month. Oh, barely. My birthday's at like the end of April. <laughs> Just barely. for my birthday. I might just do nothing. <laughs> Already April for me? Okay, okay. You gotta be on your toes. April fools. People be fooling. Just one more week until mine. Oh, well, early congrats. <laughs> I don't know if I even... I think if you Google my my name, you actually can find my birthday. I don't think I have it. I, I don't have it on my Twitter because of some Twitter reasons. Um, but I think technically, if you search like Kami, I think it actually shows my birthday. <laughs> I don't know if it shows if I search. Wait, let me search Cilia. No. Oh, it does. Yeah, if you search Cilia, it straight up has my Vocaloid wiki page. <laughs> So you can see my birthday from there. <laughs> All the deets publicly available. <laughs> that was four days ago, not twenty two. Oh, well congrats. Or like yeah, late late congrats, I guess. <laughs> Buy yourself a cake and eat it watching movies. That's true, I might. There's like, I want to get mochi donuts. Maybe I'll, I'll ask Lobster if he's up for driving to get me some, some mochi donuts. I think I'd fuck, I, I'd prefer that over a cake at this point. Cause I can, there's like places that sell cakes nearby, but for mochi donuts, kind of have to go a ways. mushy donuts in a hot minute because it's kind of far away so we only get mushy donuts every every now and then as a very special treat I'm gonna have to glue these too 
Uh, how do I want to glue this? I'm going to have to glue this to the top, and I'm going to have to glue this to the lower part as well. That's fine, though. Um, how much overlap is there here? Okay. I guess what I'll do like this. Copy that. Go here. Auto this. Paste. area can be deleted. Oh, there we go. Oops. There we go. And that should be enough to glue these together. Cotton, what are you doing? She's got the post-food zoomies. Oh no. It's jumping off the walls. Not really. Okay, this needs to be... <laughs> this needs to be fixed. And then this should be... I guess I miss- I underestimated how much this was going to rotate. Hmm. But then why is that poking out? Hey, Cotton, what's up? What are you doing, ma'am? You zoomy? me? You want some pets? <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute, Cotton. You're so soft. <laughs> I've been healed. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna need to... I underestimated how much I was going to have to glue here. Um, so, I guess I'll just delete this glue. I'm going to need to pretty much copy, like, all of this, I think. It, you didn't used to be able to do that for, like, copying stuff, but, um, I think with, like, I think in the last, or how long ago was it? There was, like, a version or two ago where they implemented that, so now you can just, like, select a, a part and then paste it. It didn't used to be like that. That was a very recent change to Live 2D. Almost 
almost looks good. Um, why is this... Why is this doing that? What is this? Why is that doing that? smooth. That's what I was going for. Tortilla with honey and butter. Oh, that sounds good. That's always good. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the, the copying and pasting of selected vertices to another art mesh was very... I think it was just like one version ago or something that they added that. It's very recent, so I don't think any tutorials actually mention it because it wasn't a thing until recently. <laughs> yes, very, very good knowledge to know that you can do that. No, it didn't used to be like that, but now you can. Now you can. What are you doing, Khan? She always makes such a silly sound when she jumps up. She goes, Mew! Mew! Oh. Would you like some pets? <laughs> that sounds good. Oh, hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I hope uh, I hope it makes your life easier. It it definitely made my life easier when they implemented that, because they if they put it through the beta first, um, and I was using the beta for that, and then they pushed it to the public release, and I was like, I felt like not enough people were talking about it, and now I wonder maybe a lot of people didn't notice that change because I don't know. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Cats games at me if I don't give her pets quick enough. <laughs> That's kind of how Cotton is. If I don't, like, if she jumps up, if she gets my attention, she'll, like, squeak and go, like, meh, and then she'll jump up and she'll be, like, meh, and then she'll, she'll flop down, and then she, like, is awaiting the pets, and if I don't do it, she she's like, what's, what did I do wrong? I followed the tutorial. Why aren't you petting me? I followed the steps. <laughs> but hey, Nisa, how you doing? I feel like watching you glue that just taught me more than any tutorial could. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, glue is pretty cool when it works. It doesn't always work, but when it does, it's cool. Oh god, oh god, oh god. 
just let me, okay, there we go. This is fine. This is fine. Um, okay, I guess I'll just glue whatever can be glued and then I'll fuck with that. Mostly it just needs to be this. Mostly. Then just a little bit of just a little bit of that overlap though. <laughs> I guess what? Maybe I'll manually uh, adjust some of this, maybe. <laughs> hey, good. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you. Double, double stretch. Okay. Okay. Oh, cotton. Okay, one sec. Since I'm getting up anyway, I'm gonna pet cotton a bit. buy a, a, a mat thing for my chair. Whenever I like push my chair back and like stretch, when I try to scooch back in, it gets like stuck on like a little section of the I think, rug. Eh. I should just get one of those things. Little like mats that go under the chair. Chair? Is that a thing? Maybe I shouldn't even ask.
glue. Okay. So I'm still going to need to move the under part, but that's fine. Oops. Um. I'm gonna have to probably- what I'll probably do is I'm gonna have to make copies of the shadows and then have an alternate version of them that's clipped to both of these things. Because otherwise it's not gonna go over both pieces because it's currently only clipped to the arm, the normal arms without the cardigan. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah. We're big, we're big chillin'. Big chillin', Diddy. Not that that's really different from other days, but... Oh yeah, the string lights that uh, Beefy got me came here, and I put them up, but I haven't put batteries in them yet. I just realized now that it's dark, I would actually be able to see what they look like with the lights, but I need to grab some batteries. <laughs> I guess I'll do that after after stream. I should turn the lights on though. They look good though. I need to kind of adjust where I hung them up because I could do better. <laughs> I need to get like a little step stool. I need to just buy a step stool because like I'm not tall enough. I'm not tall enough for this shit. <laughs> like I'm not particularly short, but I'm not particularly tall either. I am very average height, but that still means that I can't reach plenty of things I wish I could.
<laughs> I'm not four feet. I'm I'm like five foot four, which is extremely average height for a woman in the United States. <laughs> not particularly small. I'm I'm literally average height. Literally average height. Nothing nothing special. <laughs> Four or five. <laughs> well sometimes I'm like I kinda wish I was shorter or taller. I feel like just being the average height doesn't like it's just kinda like eh. Just kinda like eh. I'm gonna have to do like an inverted mask or something for the sleeve. I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Though I guess for this I could probably keep it behind like this. Yeah, yeah, I can I can just do that. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Do I give off with the impression that I'm tall? Do I have tall, tall energy? I feel like a lot of, what is it? I feel like even if a lot of clothes are made for people who are my height or like taller, it's hard for me to find clothes that fit my proportions. If that makes sense. Like, I have a very, I'm very <laughs> bottom heavy. A very long torso. It's hard to sometimes find clothes that really work for that. <laughs> I would, as they say, I have the booty. I mean, I do also have boobs, but I mean, so the issue is like a lot of clothes I find like they look good. They look good if you're one or the other. Like they either look good if you have bonkers, but no, but no booty or like the other way around. But it's it's hard. <laughs> like. What if you have both? Then it's like... You know, like... Things just don't drape the way that they should. <laughs> kind of. It's, it's just hard, okay? It's gotten a bit better. Back when I was younger, it was really fucking hard, because, like, the fashion world was like, People don't exist who have butts. You don't exist. It's gotten a bit better. It has definitely gotten better. But before, it was like impossible to find any clothing that would ever fit me when I was younger. 
but there's definitely been like kind of a cultural change to uh, focus more on the lower half um, as a as a culture. We have we have moved on. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, like back when I was younger, I guess like I guess the the cultural standard was like super 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 thin like straight line body I guess was kind of like the cultural like fashion norm And now it's kind of changed away from that which is nice for me because it, it at least I have more options for clothes now <laughs> And I'm not just stuck wearing big e big everything to compensate but Yeah, it was rough. It was fucking rough. It's definitely gotten better, but even even now it's still kind of tough. But that's just kind of clothing shopping in general. It's so hard to find things that work. I remember I, I was so embarrassed because the first time I went to a I went to a sock shop because I was like I need some like leg or what was it? I needed some like leggings, stockings for a cosplay I wanted to do. And I had never worn them before, but I was like, well, it shouldn't be that hard to find some, like, some, like, stockings that fit me. Uh, that was fucking wrong. I... So, you can buy stockings, and they have, like, the general weight range on them. Okay, they have the general weight range, okay. They say, like, from this, this weight to this weight, these stockings should fit you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, makes sense. You know? Sure. Yeah. So, I bought like three three different sizes of stockings just in case just in case and the smallest one i got was the one that was already 20 pounds heavier than what i was um and uh after i went home and tested them uh none of them fit and i had to go back and i literally had to buy stockings that were like literally 200 pounds have like heavier than i actually was because the other ones straight up did not go past my like thigh area it like literally just would not go any further up and i was like well this is fucking embarrassing i'm buying <laughs> like i don't know like why did why do this not i don't know man i don't know what who how they made those ranges but it it, it ain't that ain't accurate i feel like because having to buy stockings that are like 200 pounds 200 plus pounds higher than your actual weight for them to like get past your thigh sounds a little bit off whoever they they use to to measure that weight range ain't ain't me <laughs> yeah well i thought it was just like a fluke but then i kept running into the same issue and so i always like even now like i have to buy stockings like three or four sizes higher than my actual weight. It's really fucked up. <laughs> You'd think they're like stretchy too, but like even with the stretch, it's just like the weight range they have. If you if you if you have a pair body, shit just don't work the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Us us pairs gotta stick together, man. Pair life. <laughs> Pair life be like suffering. Yeah, I always had a t tough time finding bras as well for kind of like the similar issue where like my my under bust was pretty small, I would say, but then the bust was was not. But like they they weren't making the size I needed. But then the underbust I needed, and I was like, I guess I'll just die. Like, <laughs> I, it was so hard for me to find bras forever. Because they didn't make them in the size I needed. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Just, like, exist without, like... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I didn't even have to worry about prom, because... Uh, I was like very anti-social anyway, and also I didn't have anyone to go with. <laughs> but I was also just very anti-social, so I was like, I don't care anyway. I didn't go to prom. I went to like a high, like a middle school dance once. That was a 
experience I didn't want to have again. <laughs> yeah, the the thighs were too strong. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely gotten easier easier to find like stuff that fits, but it's still it's still a bit of a struggle though, for sure. And especially with like online shopping. Um online shopping, I feel like no matter what I buy nowadays, everything is like transparent. Like every time I try to buy new leggings, um, because that's really, like, the best thing that fits me is, like, nice stretchy leggings. Um, every time I try to buy them, like, half of them end up being transparent. And I don't know if it's just, like, my booty's too strong, like, it's gotta really stretch. <laughs> but I feel like no matter what fucking size I get, it's just, like, an endless doom of transparent clothing. Man. Like, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, same. It's a struggle. <laughs> yeah, like, no matter- it's like... I feel like each- like, it didn't used to be this bad. And it's not just because I'm, like, older, but it's like... I feel like it. I didn't have as much trouble buying leggings before in terms of them, like, not being transparent. I feel like every single legging I buy nowadays, no matter what size I get, no matter how much I size up, it's always like... They're just transparent. I'm like, what? I, I don't want to walk around with my fucking, like, undies full on display when I'm at the fucking store. Like, why would you not make the material thicker? <laughs> like, what? Am I supposed to wear, like, double leggings? Like, what do they want me to do? What do they fucking want me to do, man? Well, yeah, yeah, I feel like it's just, like, stuff has gotten cheaper. I don't know. Like, I really... It wasn't an issue for, like, many years of my life. I never had an issue finding leggings. Like, they were never transparent. And then, like, over the last, like, eight years, I feel like, it's just, like, fucking tanked. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This quality control went out the window, I guess. It just sucks. This is bugging me a bit. The underbust needs to be a bit further out. There we go. There we go. That's, that's better. That's better. Maybe even this could be a little bit further. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. I have the same issue with skirts. No matter what fucking skirt I buy, the, the back ends up being shorter than the front. <laughs> so I have to like try to find dre like skirts and dresses that have longer, ma like more material in the back, so it's actually even. <laughs> oh man, I feel you so much. We we're, we're we're twinsies on that on that part. It's the struggle. It's truly the struggle. <laughs> yeah that sucks there's so many I remember like I, I bought like when I was younger I bought a skirt and I was like so excited because it was like the first skirt I had ever bought uh, but then I realized that like literally my ass was just like seeable and I was like I can't fucking wear this I like I remember I, I put it on and I like went up to my mom's room and I was like mom I feel like I can feel a breeze uh, can you see anything and she's like you can't fucking wear that I'm like okay no that's fair uh, I don't want to wear this if you can see stuff <laughs> the struggle so pretty much I only buy like long skirts for that reason it's so hard for me to find skirts that are like shorter that don't just fucking aren't like inches higher in the back because of the the booty the struggle
Yeah, I like sweatpants, but it's definitely a little bit... Depending on the sweatpants, it can feel a bit weird to kind of like walk around in them. Outside. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. I'm kind of surprised that stores have- there's like no stores that have been popping up that have, um, what is it? That have, like, more material in the back. I feel like especially with like how the kind of, like, image, like, I guess general, what is it? Like, trends have gone? I, I'm like surprised that there isn't a- I, or I, I guess maybe it exists, but I just haven't found it like a store that specializes in that because it would be nice I would love to have some skirts that fit better <laughs> Fit how I envisioned them to fit Oh, yeah, yeah, I tried getting one of those like well not not cottage core, I guess like, I mean kind of maybe um, I really like the the Mori like Japanese um, Mori fashion style uh, but I, I tried buying some some muddy fashion before and I looked like absolutely horrible because I guess it's kind of more catered towards like the very like straight down body type and so when I wear it it just makes me look like I am like a solid hundred pounds heavier <laughs> and I, I looked in the mirror I was like I can't fucking wear this man I can't do this <laughs> I can't wear this I look so much I look so much larger than I am I can't do it man <laughs> I wish I could. I mean, I guess I could. Nothing's really stopping me except for I just would. I just, yeah. <laughs> it's rough. I don't know what I want to do with this. I think this is okay. I still need to do the right arm though. But I might just like straight up copy this oh and thank you for the hydrate thank you thank you <laughs> Like, average day, I don't really wear much of anything special. <laughs> I just, like, wear my pajama pants and my, and, like, a various baggy t-shirts. But when I go out, I do wear something kind of nicer, but not really. I, I just need to go clothes shopping again. Should be able to just. Where is this? Put that in a folder. <laughs> yeah, I just I just wear comfy. Comfy every day. <laughs> oh <laughs> See, thanks for thanks for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy your emotes. Oh, in the wrong order. <laughs> oh, I mean this this this, this ain't too bad.
Are yoga pants mandatory for women now? Um, I don't know. I don't know about yoga pants. I feel like leggings are quite nice. But I mean, like, I guess... I don't know. I feel like... Yoga pants and leggings are like, kind of like... Interchangeable to an extent. I mean, not exactly, but I feel like a lot of leggings nowadays are so thin they might as well be yoga pants. <laughs> you know. <laughs> pants is fair change. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. I was like, oh, I got my refund. It's so fucking small. When you get a refund, but it's the tiniest fucking thing. At least I got a refund, I guess. I guess that's how I know I did my taxes right, if there's not much refund. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, thank you for the posture check, I'm actually... Pretty good past right now. Um, let's see, without the cardigan, is this? Okay, perfect. to this. Why won't it tell me? I hate that it doesn't tell you what it's like. You're hiding the thing that's being used as a mask, but it doesn't tell you what is using it as a mask. Why? Why would you not give me this information?
Um, okay. I don't know what I want to do with this. That's a hand. arm should also be in here. Hmm. Oh wait, I should open up the animation to test with that because um, I'm not sure how it will interact when I have the animation and the arm rotation. I'm assuming it will just, I mean, it will just rotate the animation, I guess, but um, I need to see how, in what way. Does it rotate it? Oh. Forgot to do the toggle. for the big arm. Kind of wanted to try and like adjust the perspective. When this came up. Um, but to do that, I'm gonna need to do this. How's the day going? Uh, it's going good. Um, I'm big chillin'. Big, big chillin'. <laughs> Yeah, this can get a bit confusing with the arm poses, especially. I know this looks kind of silly, but... Oh! I saw Unlimited Micworks. Very excited to see the silly reality marvel. <laughs> Thank you for the reason. Oh, for six months too, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, unlimited mic works. Um, this is not working how I wanted it to. I'm going back. <laughs> Hear me out. I know that's not how arms work, but <laughs> no, this looks stupid. Never mind. Um, 
going to need to adjust that for the arm pose stuff. Because that's obviously not going to work if that's that pose. Um, okay, so I need to adjust this. I'll have it be like, hmm. I'm not sure if I'll have to adjust this much for Y, so I guess I'll just do this now. straight up the, the mic arm toggle itself. I guess I'll have to also adjust this. Just the cardigan for when the mic is out. Um. Hmm. The 
This is where blend shapes would be coming in handy. <laughs> I guess I'll have to adjust this for once I'm done with body Y as well. But either way... Um, still we'll need to adjust this. Just this. Just this. This, 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 this. Mike. Yeah, welcome, welcome. it so much, I guess. are coming by. Good luck at work. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome back. adjusted a bit <laughs> but it 
Let's see, how does this rotation work though? Thank you. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of cake? Pastry? Ooh, that's a good question. I really like canales. Not cannolis, canales. The uh, the things that you have like um, the wax. And it's like kind of chewy, chewy. You have to use like a very specific mold to make the shape. I really like them. I think that might be one of my faves. It has like a nice caramelly, toasty caramelly flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the texture. It's very chewy, but like soft, but then like the outside is very, very chewy because it uses, um, uh, what is it? it uses like beeswax, I think, for the outside. A thin layer of um, beeswax is used for the the outside coating, which makes it like really a really nice chewy texture, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of chewy, but then the inside's nice and soft, kind of, but still like a little bit more on the chewy side. Very good. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. Um, not many places have them though. You'd have to go to. Maybe a special bakery. Um, I got them at a bakery that was inside of like a store. It was like a health food store, but they had a bakery and they had them and I would get them like every other day when I was in high school. <laughs> They're very good though. Let me see if I can... Yeah, fuck, these are so good. Yeah, here. Here's a link to what they are. <laughs> They're very good. I want I want to eat them again, but it, it's hard to find places that have them. But yeah, it's like the uh what is it? I think the outside you use some some wax. Was like the special thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, you brush them with beeswax. But apparently nowadays, like, people use butter. But the place I got them from definitely used beeswax. Very good, though. Yeah. It's been a long time since I had some. Yeah, yeah, they're so good. <laughs> so tasty. They're kind of- I, I was looking into like how to make them, but it's kind of an annoying process. But half of the annoying part is like you need to have the molds. You can't really make them without them. I mean, I guess you could, but it's like the molds are what make the texture so good because of how everything kind of layers. Yeah, yeah, it's like rum cake, but then like the outside's very nice and chewy. I like chewy stuff. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of rum, but I, I like it when it's like canales because it's kind of a subtle, it's not like in your face rum flavor. It's very like subtle. Mm. I had a really bad experience with rum cake as a kid, so it took me many, many, many years to uh, not absolutely despise rum. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna have to test this out more. Once I have, I think, the Y angle. There we go. Um, I do need to set up this toggle again, though. 
So you can just do it on this. Do you have any piercings? Uh, I used to have my ears pierced back in like middle school, <laughs> but I've not gotten another one since because uh, kind of hurt, kind of, kind of hurt, and I'm not. My hair is too like crazy, so the piercings would always get stuck in my hair. The only reason I even got my ears pierced was because like this was back in like early middle school. There was another girl in my class who had her ears pierced, and I was like. She's cool. What if what if I got my ears pierced? Would I be cool? Uh, spoiler alert. I was. It didn't make me cool. <laughs> if anything, no one fucking cared. <laughs> Except for my mom. She's like, okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really like, like, I like the look of ear piercings, but I don't think I'd ever get more myself because I just am very weak to pain and yeah, my hair is just a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me one sec. I need to uh, order some food. What should I... Should I get? There's this pho place. I'm trying to think what I want. Do I want pho or do I want something else? Oh, I need some rice dishes. Ooh, Ooh. beef rib with rice. Ooh. Yeah, we're- well, we're not getting pho. Lobster's getting a bon me, but... I don't know what I want. I'm trying to figure out what I want. Mm. Beef root sounds really good, though. Sounds good, it's kind of pricey though. So I'm kind of like, hmm. Or I could get like rice noodles. I just have to ask for no cilantro. Ooh, or I could get no other noodles. Ooh, I get garlic noodles. Oh, I got garlic noodles the other day though. Hmm. I've decided <laughs> not fun. I'm just gonna get some other noodles. I got a drink too. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna get a drink. What should I get? Should I get some? Should I get some? Uh, I could get some. Oh, I could get some Thai iced tea. Yes, the 
ASMR part of the stream. Yeah. You're suddenly an ASMR stream. <laughs> no reason. I just felt like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As hell as you should, honestly, like... to say no cilantro oh shit fuck fuck oh god oh god i forgot to say no cilantro oh fuck oh i pressed the order button oh no oh no can i oh god oh no is it too oh no oh fuck is it oh it's too late i already pressed i've already made the <sighs> Call. Oh god, my worst nightmare, <laughs> making a phone call. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, no, no, it might be fine. It might be fine. I think, I think it'll be fine. I, I, I think, I, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Uh. Because it's it's not it's like not the type of noodle dish that should have cilantro on it. Wait, let me check the menu again. I'm trying to make excuses because I don't. I, no, I, I have the gene that makes cilantro like taste like soap. I, the type of noodle I got, it should, okay, I'm checking the menu. Yeah, I have, I have the gene that makes cilantro taste like soap. Uh, let me, let me take, I don't, it's, it's like, okay, I think it'll be fine, it's, If I'd gotten any other thing, all the other things on the menu say that they come with cilantro, but this this section does not mention cilantro. It says mixed vegetables. But all the other things mention like cilantro, Asian greens. Do you think cilantro would be included in mixed vegetables? That's not- that wouldn't really- that- mix, mixed vegetables- mixed vegetables doesn't really imply cilantro. I'm gonna just say that I don't think I need to call because I feel like it would be a foolish move to add cilantro to this dish. And it doesn't list it. Every- all the other sections list it, but not in this section, so I think it's fine. If not, then it is what it is. Yeah, like they would mention it. They would mention it. All the other sections mention cilantro. Yeah, pretty much like if you have the gene, it, it makes it makes cilantro like even if there's a really tiny bit of cilantro in anything, it, it makes it taste super off. Like like someone accidentally like threw some- yeah, pretty much it's like if someone accidentally threw some, like, dishwasher liquid in your food, uh, no matter how little amount of cilantro is in something, it pretty much permeates the entire dish. Um, so even if there's, like, just a little bit in, like, a sauce or something, I can immediately tell and it immediately ruins the dish. <laughs> like, there have been some times where I've gotten food and Lobster will try it because I'll be like, is there cilantro in this sauce? And he'll try and he'll be like, no, I don't think so, no. And I'll taste it, I'm like, no, 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 there's, there's like a little, little bit of cilantro in it. I can't. So, like, even, I, I normally, no matter what, if it's a place that, like, tends to have cilantro on things, I'll, I'll just, in the instructions, be like, hey, please, no. 
yeah. No, I've gotten I've gotten stuff from like these some of these places before, um, that normally have cilantro and things. And it, when I ask for like no cilantro, it's normally not like there won't be any hints of cilantro anywhere. But <sighs> it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Yeah, I just I just wish I could like know what it was supposed to taste like. Because it's just forever horrible to me. <laughs> it's forever horrible. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna do the ears. That silly was short for cilantro. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> My worst nightmare. <laughs> Liliantro. Let's see. This is this, and then, okay. Where are the ears? There we go. It is time to do the ear stuff. It's not an allergy, it's just, I mean, at this point though, I try to just, like, if anyone questions it, then I straight up do say it's an allergy, honestly, because, like, it's bad enough that I literally won't be able to eat the food, so even if they're like, well, if it's not an allergy, then you're just being picky, it's like, no, I literally will not be able to consume the, the food that you make, if, I, if it has any, like, it's, it's just, I literally, I, <laughs> it's, it might as well be an allergy because I can't consume it. Either way. <laughs> so I just at this point I just try to say it's an allergy because I don't I don't want people trying to be like, well you're just picky. Cause it it's more than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it sucks because sometimes I'll get something and like they won't mention celery at all or not celery um cilantro at all but it, like I'll be able to detect it and I'll be like oh I know no they put this shit in here somewhere <laughs> no like parsley isn't an issue at all um though sometimes I get very scared because I see parsley on something and I'm like is this cilantro or is this parsley I won't find out until I fucking take a bite I guess <laughs> It's it's a very scary like is this is this gonna taste barely like anything or is this gonna taste absolutely horrendous? Very scary situation. Um This is gonna have to be These are both going to have to be above here. There we go. Um, and then I need to, I guess I'll make another inverted mask piece. This. I'll paste this here. Coffee cover man. I would need to get her first. I don't have coffee. I haven't really looked into Chevy this that much. It's mainly because I've just been like, I've seen the UI and I'm not super into the UI, and Synthfy is more comfy for me. At this point, I'm just like, please, everything just come to Synthfy instead. <laughs> Yes. 
I guess I'll just add it to all of these. Um, inverted mask, okay. I guess this is a little bit more awkward than I expected. Um, I'll have to adjust the face shadow, I suppose. feel only like I don't know tacos are really tough for me whoa hello <laughs> um tacos are really tough for me because like I what is it I have to like ask for no cilantro but then like sometimes I'll also have to be like no salsa no sauce no anything because a lot of times like there'll be cilantro and other things and then I'm like I feel at this point I probably should just get something else because I feel like I'm I'm just <laughs> like I'm just stripping this taco of every flavor possible <laughs> and at that point I feel like the chefs are just like why why are you even here and I'm like you know that's fair honestly <laughs> I know I feel like it's like rude of me at that point Yeah. It just sucks. I wish I could eat it, but it's just really not possible for me. <laughs> yeah, they put a lot of cilantro in the sushi wrap. Suit? <coughs> cilantro and sushi? What kind of su- what? Cilantro and sushi? A, what combo? What is the cilantro going on? That's wild. Never heard of that. Take a quick, quick trip to the store. Okay, okay. Enjoy your lurk. Good luck at the store. Deep fried spicy roll stuff. Ah. Okay, okay. Interesting. I'd have 
a heart attack if I got something and like, came with cilantro, like got sushi and there was cilantro on top of it. I have a heart attack. <laughs> Just like, what? <laughs> yeah, if they're going out of the way to put cilantro and stuff, they're like, oh, her, we know her. She can't eat cilantro. Let's fuck her up. Let's get her. Soft tacos or hard tacos? I'm I'm more I'm more about that soft that soft goodness. Even though I like crunchy stuff. I don't know. When it comes to tacos, I'm more into that soft. Soft stuff. I want that soft, good, delicious corn tortilla. Freshly, my mom used to make really good homemade corn tortillas. Oh, hey, Vivi. I was eating some of the gummies you got me. <laughs> I, I'm already, I'm already, I've already eaten through one entire pack. <laughs> I was like, I can't eat all of these before Vivi even gets here. <laughs> Yeah, they, they got here super fast. <laughs> like, overnight. Also, the the um, the lights got here, too. I haven't put batteries in them yet, though. I hung them up, but I need to put batteries in them. <laughs> oh. Hey, Jazzle. <laughs> Yeah, I ate the I ate the the uh, green grape ones already. I've been munching on the the like purple grape ones. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are super good. There's some other good ones too that are by the same brand, but they have like liquid in the middle it's kind of like a better gusher <laughs> um but those ones are kind of more pricey they're premium <laughs> oh i assume thank you for gifting the sub tassel Model's going good. We were working on the, um... Ignore the, the ears not done yet. Um, <laughs> we were working on the, the body. X, Y. Pretty happy with the, the boob. To be honest, pretty happy with the boob. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Thank you, Dazzle, for also gifting us a... <laughs> But yeah, pretty happy with the the booba, I would say. There's some things I still need to fix. Like I might redo the art mesh for the um, the lines here. Oh, Ashif, another another gift sub. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you.
<laughs> had to round it out. That's fair, that's fair. Wait, I haven't done the um, y-axis yet. But I'm working on the ears right now. <laughs> so it's a bit scuffed. Sure do be looking. God damn. God plugin is still dead unfortunately this is uh the program is live 2d cubism yeah. um i might actually end stream in in just a little bit because i i think I'm, i want to end stream and then eat food and food is apparently um on on the way um <laughs> god you're so cute um yeah, I might end the stream in, in just a sec, actually. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would say I draw some nice boobs. <laughs> I would say I've drawn a nice boob or two. for almost seven hours <laughs> but I guess I mean I guess I guess wait one second one second one second one second okay I think they're still going for a while okay. <laughs> Actually on the stream here for tonight <laughs> yeah I am not sure if I'll be streaming tomorrow maybe not um, I think April 1st is gonna be eventful for many people oh Khan just jumped straight into the 
<laughs> the bean bag. <laughs> she fucking dived like face first into it. Is that fun? Is that comfy? <laughs> I'll have to give you the uh, update on the cilantro. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Let me set up the raid here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for coming, for hanging out today, tonight, today, and tonight. It was a little bit of a shorter stream than before, but, um, but yeah. I mean, I kind of was working earlier today on other stuff. <laughs> I, I'm not really short stream, I guess. It's still like four and a half hours, but. <laughs> a short four hours, yeah. <laughs> But, um, I guess we can just do live to live to D, right? Here, we can do this. Let's have a short read message. I don't want to spam the chat too much. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me today, tonight. Um, we'll be reading CZ. They have raided me before. They're super chill, though. They're working on some live 2D tonight. Doing some eye stuff, it looks like. So, if you liked enjoying, like, if you liked chilling, watching some live TV, that might be a good transition for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, be nice. Say hi to them. Feel free to conk out if you're sleepy and <laughs> need, need a rest. But yeah, I will see you guys again soon. Alright, bye bye.